morning, world. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? It's 9 o'clock. It's October 30. What is it? October 23rd. Not 33rd. There's no such thing as 33. But being up for over three hours, it made me say October 33. Yeah, I've been up since 6 o'clock. Just getting the little one ready for school and everything. And trying to get out of debt, trying to do everything to save money, save this, save that. And I'm never doing the free things on Wish again. This cell phone is out of battery all the time from the beep, 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 beep. Refund, 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 refund. Wish, it's free. Stop sending those things. But anyways, let's continue our day. I still haven't done dishes, I still haven't done anything, but guess what? I've made two beds. <laughs> In three hours. Well, that's me, isn't it? Okay, making three beds, what a, try to find a place. Ah, the sun's not killing it. There we go. But one bed was not just one bed, it was picking up stuff from my daughter's room. And I'm both sitting on the couch now, having... I smoke like always, water my plants a little bit, drop by drop by drop, don't want to kill them from too much love, and edited last, yesterday's video, I added a few links of things that I wanted, so maybe I can find them in the future and get them, and if you see them, you're going to be laughing, and there's a good referral code, it's going to be here today too, anyways, but... I do want to go shopping. I still craving shopping. And my birthday's coming up, so it's like, ugh. Yeah, it's December 9th, it's my birthday. And I never give myself anything or nothing. Give myself nothing. And I was thinking of making some cake today. Is anybody up for a cake? Or for bread? I'm not sure yet. So let me just do the dishes, and it's going to be a surprise to both of us. For me and you. My frugal cheapsteak family. We don't know what we're making. Yeah, it is 9 o'clock. You can see the watch right there. So let me just go put on my glasses so I can actually see what I'm doing, wash dishes, and be back for a surprise. What are we making today? I don't know. Do you? I don't. We're making one of the two. Either bread or cake. What am I craving right now? Even I don't know. And it took me exactly two seconds to figure out what I want to do. Put glasses on. Leave dishes alone. And guess what we're making? We're making bread. Simple. The cheapest you can find. There's not a cheaper, more tastier bread around. It has to be cheap. But I am craving cake. But we'll make the bread because while it's kneading, it's not using the bread machine. I'm not doing it by hand. You can knead it by hand, but it takes more time. So while it's kneading, I can wash the dishes and we'll continue from there. So let's see our ingredients. And all these videos has taken a toll on my phone. I see the battery falling like... Ugh, I hope I don't need a phone until 365 days of frugal living is over. But that's a whole new story. Let's get to the ingredient part. Got glasses on, hair is up, well half of it. And it looks awful. But we're going to do something about that too, today. Not tomorrow, today. Today we're doing everything, everything, everything. And I do miss my cell phone holder because I could just stand there right there. I was filming at the beginning, and now I'm doing it by hand. I just have one hand left. That's a whole new story. Let's get to the ingredients. Ugh. Anyways, sorry about that. Usually you need a pot. I just have the bread machine thing. It has been heavily used, you can see it from there. One pack of dried yeast. I get it from Lidl. A cup of warm water, flour, 
the salt's right there, and a little bit of sugar. And oil, margarine, whatever you like. Uh, and we're off to the flour. First, three cups of flour. That's why I used to love my stand, because I could do things with two hands, not one. So this is quite impossible. Okay, one. I think you get the picture right, and we dump it in the pot or whatever you're using. Let me just put the other two because with one hand holding the cell phone, the other one trying to do this with the camera, it's impossible. See, when you're using one hand, that's what happens. And you can't actually see the cell phone, but you can actually figure it up that I made my black cell phone wait. Oh, so it's got. Now we're going to put the yeast. Okay, yeast is in, flour is in. Now we're off to put sugar time. Like about that much. Of a teaspoon or even less. Oops. Yeah, that much. And in it goes. Mix the yeast around with the sugar and the flour. Now that wasn't expensive, was it? Now we're going to add the salt. Just plain old salt that I got from Lidl. It doesn't say it, but I got it from Lidl for... I think it was around a dollar, like one euro. We're going to add some of this. Okay, here we are. We're adding one and a half teaspoon of salt. In it goes. In, in, in. Can you guys see the salt? It's right there, right there, right there. It's one and a half teaspoons. We're always using teaspoons or cups right now. After that, the water goes in. One cup of water. Voila. And one third of a cup oil. I use olive oil. There we go. But you can use margarine, butter, or your kind of oil. And this is off to the bread machine. Okay, I'm using the bread machine through the need. It's the dose cycle, number eight on mine. Because I have too many things to do. And it started already. It wasn't actually... Go in, so let's just press start. I love the way it turns. To help out the bread machine, I just go around and press the flour in a little bit. I'll just let it I'll just let it knead and be back in a few minutes to push the rest of the flour in because I don't think it does a great job and I don't know why. And to think I actually paid a lot of money for this, but it does help. And just doing this video today reminded me when I started doing the videos and I had the stand. I would just put it in front and always forget something, a spoon, a fork. An ingredient and I was running for it and I was like excuse me sorry I forgot it was really easy and fun and laughing and I had both hands free uh, but when, until I go to the bank to put money in my prepaid card because I never shop on online or on wish or anything with my regular credit card I don't know why I just have a prepaid card because it helps me stay on budget so I'll probably go in a week or two 
put some money in and get a stand because it is getting impossible to do videos, especially cooking videos without a stand. But off to the bread, as you can hear, it's getting on my nerves already. As you saw, it was like two teaspoons, almost two teaspoons, a uh, teaspoon and a half of salt. The whole thing cost like one dollar. How much is it going to cost for each loaf? And it's two loaves of bread. A teaspoon of sugar, not even. Three cups and a little bit more. I just added like a little bit of oil. We all have oil in our cupboard or some margarine in the refrigerator or butter or something. We all use something for oil, right? And it's so cheap. You could do it by hand, but it would take too much time while recording, doing this, doing that, and actually doing it by hand. And... Yeah, with one hand, you cannot knead. But anyways, as I'm saying, it's so cheap. And it's the basic, basic, basic. This is the basic one. So this is from where you start. And you build up to sweet breads, uh, cinnamon raisin breads, um, banana breads. What other kind of breads are There's apple breads, banana breads, like fruit breads, um, nut breads. Sweet, sour, keeps on going. But this is the basic, basic. It's the starter bread. It's like you start with this and you build up to something more extreme. So if you're enjoying the video to now, give it a thumbs up. Or, give it a thumbs up and share. And don't forget to comment. Even if you give it a thumbs down, leave a comment and say why. Maybe I'll get better. But don't forget to share with friends and family. It really helps. So let me do my chores. I will be back to the bread soon. Yeah, be giving up 365 days of frugal living. Everything. Three days of. Even I'm getting confused with the title. 365 days of frugal living. My life, my store, and everything in between. <laughs> and our bread is ready and no I did not let it stay for an hour and a half just let it do the the kneading stopped it restart it do the kneading didn't let it rise and here we go nice soft 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 bread so clean the tablecloth this plastic thing so we can dump it up here are you guys ready but when I do bake bread, I don't like it to be nice and soft inside and nice and soft outside. So here's the secret. Ugh, let me get my hand off. See? Clean. We're dumping flour. Getting the place dirty. Okay, dump flour and spread it around. But I like seeing what I, what I do. Okay, forgive me, forgive me. Let me just pick the phone up. Dumped it. And what did it? Yeah, just sprinkle some flour over it so it doesn't stick on my hands a lot. Now, I'm going to cut this in half. And make it into two rolls. But I can't do it with one hand. Try my best. Okay, here we go. Got it. Let me just split it in half and be right back. Yep, I think I need a cell phone. Okay, so I'm just, because there's flour all over the place, and I just pass the flour on top. I'm just not going to stick, so I'm just molding it with my hands. I didn't even roll it, just molding it like that. Cut it in half, and just started molding it. Now I'm going to pick these two up. Just making sure there's flour on top. Picking them up and putting them in the pan. Yeah, my beautiful new pan. Can be more older. I love these papers from Lidl. I don't know why. They save time from cleaning. And I don't have to buy a new pan. Yeah, got it. Here we go. In the pot, in the pan, whatever. In the pan, not the pot. Now, we want crunchy on top, juicy inside, right? Nice hands. So we're going to take some flour. A pinch of it. And sprinkle it on top. 
Don't, don't be afraid, just flower. And pat it. So it goes all over the place. Yep, flower. Cover the bird of flower. That gives it that crunch on the outside. Just making sure that I'm actually looking at the bread and not through the cell phone. Just a little pinch. Another pinch. See, it's all those little secrets that you learn by doing something again and again and again. You're just making the flower go all the way around. Perfect. Now we're just going to put it in the oven, cover it, and let it rise. Because I didn't let it rise in the bread machine. See if there's a nerve bubble forming. And I just put my shoes on. Shoes. And I'm off to a friend's house. That's her, my daughter's English teacher. Yep. Because she was complaining her school bag is too heavy for her to go to English school. So I'm just going to let the bread rise in the oven. Oven. Yeah, the oven is closed. I haven't even lit it. But I don't want to leave the bread on the table. I don't want to fly or anything going close to it. So I just put it in the oven and let it stay. And we're off for half an hour drive back and forth to bring to her teacher the school bag so she can take it to school so my daughter can go to school or after Greek school. It's like daughter of mine. You're not getting out of this. You're going to learn English and Greek, like it or not. I work hard for my money. You're going to learn. They're private schools. The Greek school is pu public, but the English school is private. So, you're not getting out of it. Well, these cooking videos can get quite long. And I'm really sorry about that. But, when I came back, I was running like a nut. Since I already had the bread dough, it was dough if you remember, in the oven. I just turned the oven on, took it preheat with the bread inside. I did, just didn't even take it out. So let's take a peek at the bread. A peek. A quick peek. Because the bread has already risen before I started cooking, I had no problem. That's why I just turned it on and just let the heat come up slowly and the bread's going to be rising more and more. So take a peek now. A quick peek so nothing happens to my bread. How does that look? The house smells amazing. When I say amazing, amazing. Having fresh bread in the house, the smell, just the smell of the fresh bread. I don't know, it reminds me of the little cottages in the U.S. in the, 19, the 1900s. And if I had butter, oh, trust me, I would have been in 1900 right now. When the bread is ready anyways. I'm just munching on fresh butter with hot bread. Yeah, it does take me back. Even if I'm not a, a person from the U.S. Even if I wasn't born in 1900. Like 1900, 1901. Like that really far back. I do enjoy fresh bread. And it's fresh. It saves money. From not having to actually drive to go get it. So just be a little bit more patient. Bread is almost done. Bread is almost done. And since we're cooking today, here's a really quick one. Water. Put it on the stove at high heat. Put a couple of lentils inside. Finally chop an onion. Yeah, it looks like a lot. This is like a medium sized onion that I finally chopped with a knife. Dump it in. Yeah, one hand can do a lot. Okay, there we are. 
I need to rinse. Now we're going to dump like one-fourth of a cup olive oil. Or whatever kind of oil you guys use in your country. Let me just put the oil. Just needs a little bit more. Simple. Okay, got it, got it. A tablespoon of tomato paste. And just let it boil. The only things that are missing are some vinegar, salt and pepper. But that we're going to add almost to the end. Especially the salt. If you add salt at the beginning, any kind of dried beans you put, they're going to become... Well, they're going to take longer to boil. So we're just going to leave it there and let it boil. Hey. Because with... Let's check the bread. Ooh, it's almost ready. But with nice bread... Homemade, you have to have like a nice soupy thing, right? Look at that bread. Look at it. It's ready. Just took it out of the oven. But it's too hot. Just, just took it out. Let's see. Okay, can you guys hear this? It's stiff on top. It goes like crunch. Listen to it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. So it's not that soggy bread you usually get. And that's about the bread part. So let me do some chores and we'll be back to cooking because my food is boiling and I haven't opened the vent on top. And I don't want my house to stink dried lentils. Blech. No, you can't hear me. Okay, it's been boiling for about 5-10 minutes. Let me grab it. Oh, got it. We're going to add a garlic in. Well, since I didn't have a whole garlic, I'm just adding three small ones. In it goes. Just make sure to have enough water. I should have pre-soaked them, but it was a last-minute thing. And around two tablespoons or one tablespoon of vinegar. If you want more vinegar, you could try it in your plate. And add more. Not all people enjoy a lot of vinegar. But we still haven't put any salt. Because they're still unboiled. Let them boil just a little bit more. Then they become nice, soft, and juicy. And don't forget to add water. Some people like it like really soupy. Some people like it kind of thick. So it all depends up to you. At last, it started recording. So, now this is nice and juicy. Well, we don't want it too thick nor too watery. We're going to add salt and pepper to taste. Now, this I can't tell you if you're going to add a teaspoon or tablespoon of salt and pepper because that's to taste. Yeah, just close that. I don't mind for a few minutes. So, I'm going to add salt and pepper. Let it boil for another five minutes. And there you go. A full healthy meal for under... Let's see, that's for four people. And I think that's under $3. Yeah, $3 for a whole meal. So there's homemade bread, a nice soup on the cold days, everything healthy, healthy. First of all, healthy, healthy, healthy. No preservatives, no nothing. Now, if you want to add cheese, if you want to add something else, well, that's a preference. I cannot budget for you. Now, the bread I'm going to cut up now because it's nice and warm. Not too hot, not too cold, just perfect. I'm going to add margarine that I got from Lidl on special again. I hope you enjoy my meal. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I would love to read your comments. And how about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing? Just for making two meals in one day. It's been a long time, I know. I was stuck yesterday and the day before on Wish. And I didn't get anything. After doing, because I did it yesterday again. Trying the limited quali quantity thing. I ordered 3,500 things. And can you imagine my phone? Even if it's free, every time you didn't win, 
It was like a beep beep on your email telling you it was refunding zero zero. So yeah, I heard that beep beep 3,500 times till now. <laughs> you couldn't even sleep at night. But anyways, see, we're back cooking. And I'm looking at another site at the same time. Maybe we'll do some unboxing these days. If I decide to buy anything and spend money. So at the bottom of the, uh, in the description, you're going to see a few things that I really like from Wish. A Wish code. And... And... I'm always a day late putting the description in, but anyways. And a link to my PayPal account. You may just want to help me out a little bit. Like a dollar or two or three. Or something. Because to buy ingredients, it is kind of expensive. And I'm getting out of budget. And I do want to cook more things for you guys, but... Sorry, uh, my budget is really strict. Just cutting the bread, and I really had to show you guys. I'm going to grab a little piece. Look. You guys see this? Air bubbles inside. Nice thick crust. There we go. Can't wait for my stand. Squish, 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 squish. Look, it's popping right up. Squish hard. And it's rising back up. Guess what? Mmm. Can't wait for the rest of the food. Worth a million dollars. Till tomorrow, see you guys. I'm gonna pick out.